I'm Bobby and I like to make stuff and today we're going to make axe throwing for kids. In the past few years, axe throwing has become really popular. It's a lot of fun and a great thing to do with your friends, but unfortunately, there are some safety concerns and kids cannot be involved. So today, we're gonna make a whole axe throwing setup with a target and some axes that are safer for kids to use. Let's do it. First thing we're gonna replace is the target. So instead of a big piece of wood, we're gonna make a box that holds a whole bunch of pieces of pool noodles. That way, when you throw the axe, it'll get embedded in between the pool noodles and hopefully stay in the target. So first, we've gotta cut this down to a whole bunch of pieces. So what I'm thinking here is that we're gonna use this big rubber container and stack these in it and they'll stick out. That way they'll be a little loose on the outside, but they'll get more compressed as it goes in. So when you throw the ax, it will go in and hopefully embed itself in this area. So I've gotta figure out how tall these need to be and then cut all these pieces off and fit them in here. I'm gonna set up the fence on the bandsaw and then cut these down to basically the same length. They don't have to be exactly the same, but this way with the bandsaw, I can just run them through really quickly and even do big bundles at a time to make it faster. So the first thing I'm doing here is just testing to see if we need to cut more. I'm gonna to try to fill this up and then cut more if we need to to make sure that it's really tight down here on the bottom. I'm gonna make sure that it's loose up top and tight on the inside so that the ax will go all the way in. I got all these pieces cut down and put in here. I still need to add a few more so it's a little bit tighter, but I also realized that with these compressed together, it's too much of a uniform surface. I think the pieces are too big and we're not gonna be able to get things to go into them. So we're gonna take each one of these out, cut them in half again, and then taper the ends so that there's not as much flat surface on the top. Hopefully that will help things go into it and not bounce off of it. We got all these pieces shaped down and stuck them back in here. It's really full, so they kind of stay in place even if you turn it over. So now we're gonna test it out. Now that we've got the target ready to go, we need some stuff to throw at it. On the laser, we cut out some throwing knives and stars and some small axes. You could do the same thing with a jigsaw or scroll saw, and you could even have your kids draw out their own axes and cut those out. As just simple pieces of wood, these work great, but they will get damaged if you miss the mark quite a bit. So we're gonna take one of these and thicken it up with some foam, and also that'll just make it look cooler. I cut out two of these, one to put on each side, but I forgot to mirror one of them so the texture on the back of this floor mat is gonna be visible. So I'm gonna flip this one over and cut it again. So we've got these three pieces with the texture faced up. I'm not super worried about this being like a, a great prop or like really well adhered together. So I'm gonna use some Super 77 spray adhesive on all of these sides, let it dry, spray the other side of this, and then just sandwich it all together. I'm putting this wooden core in the middle of this to keep the weight in the middle. Foam won't throw correctly like an ax would, but this should help a little bit. Cool, so now we have the sandwiched ax piece. We just gotta shape it up.
So with the belt sander, I got most of the shape in place. It's still pretty rough, but from here, I can use some knives and some more sandpaper to actually get it smooth, and then we'll paint it up to look like an ax. I'm not worried about really sealing this up like it's a fine prop or anything, but I am gonna spray it with some Plasti Dip and that should give it kind of a protective shell and then we can put some paint on top of that later. A lot of times people ask why I don't wear a mask when I paint, and generally that's because we have an exhaust system that takes all of the fumes that way. Of course, wearing a mask is never a bad thing. Alexa, turn on the exhaust. While we're waiting for the plastic dip to dry, I wanna go ahead and figure out a way to hang this. We've got this propped on a table and it works okay, but it does move a little bit, but eventually you would want this hung flat on a wall. So to do that, we're gonna take a couple of screws and drive them into the back side here and then just put a string in between those screws so you can hang it on a nail or whatever hook you have on the wall. I'm just gonna put in a little scrap piece of wood down in here and then drive the screw through this thin plastic into the wood so it has something to grab into. We've got a couple of coats of Plasti Dip on both of the axes, and we've got some laser cut ninja stars and throwing knives. Of course, you can still hurt somebody with these even though they're not sharp, so be careful. This thing turned out really well. It was super cheap and super easy to put together. Now, if you're gonna do this inside for a birthday party or something, you wanna to stick to foam axes, but if you're outside and you've got some room, laminating multiple pieces of wood together actually worked a whole lot better. We're gonna have some templates for these axes on the website if you wanna go get those for free to make your own. If this project inspired you to do something fun and kind of out of the box for your kids, I would love to hear about it down in the comments. We've got tons of other project videos for you to check out, and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that as well. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time. So today we're gonna make a simple, relatively safe axe throwing thingy. Ready? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. See you next time. There.